Hello there and welcome to this particular 11 plus maths test. Let's look at the question in detail. <coughs> so the shape below is drawn on a grid formed of identical squares. The perimeter of the shape is 56 centimeters. What is the side length of each of the squares that forms the grid itself? Okay, so in this case, we've got a shape here. Now, if you can see here, a perimeter is the measurement around shape. So for example, we have a rectangle and the width is six, the height is three, that means the width at the top will also be six and the height on the left hand side will also be three. So if you were to add these together, six at six is 12, 12 at three is 15 and 15 at three is going to be 18. So that means the perimeter, in other words, the measurement around this particular shape is 18 centimeters. So that's how we work out perimeter. So in this case, let's work out how many squares we have first of all. So we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 squares all together. Okay, so 16 is basically the perimeter of this particular shape. Another way to do this is also just look at the corners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is the number of squares all the way around this particular shape. Okay, now we need to work out, let's go back to the uh, original question, which was, um, the perimeter is 56 centimeters. So what could be the length of each square? So the length of each square. So if you have 56 centimeters, <clears throat> let's divide it by three. So three goes into five once, remain to two. How many times does three actually go into 26? Three goes into 26 um, eight times, and there's a remainder there. So in this case, we're gonna cancel three out. So three is not gonna be our correct answer here. Let's do another one. Let's do 56 divided by 3.5, three and a half in other words. All right, so three and a half. So how many times can three and a half basically go into 56 itself? Now, this is the decimal number, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky. But in this case, I'm gonna use the options that are provided for us, A, B, C, D, or E, to actually help me answer this particular question. So uh, let's see if, uh, if I do 3.5 multiplied by 16. Uh, because remember there were 16 squares all together, times by 3.5. Let's see if that gives us the answer. So five times six is 30, three is carried forward. Five times one is five, add three is eight. Put another zero underneath. Three times six is 18, eight goes there, one is carried forward. Three times one is three and add the one there as four. Um, let's add these up, eight add eight is 16. One is carried forward and four add one is five. And because the decimal place is here on the left once, we'll put the decimal place on the left here and that gives us 56. So 3.5 goes into 56 16 times. So that means that one of these sides is 3.5 centimeters. Now, how did I work this out? Well, simply, I just used some of these options. I just went through these options because remember in the multiple choice, in the 11 plus exam, you have multiple choice questions. And I helped, I used the multiple choice answers to actually get closer to the answer. And that's what you should do when you're doing these questions as well. Okay, good luck with the rest of the questions.